Lose personal information. Overplaying a video game in the current year. To send a virus or a Trojan through the game onto someone else's PC, which can then... That's it. Here we go again. Modern Warfare 2, the original. Call of Duty Ghosts. Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 are now definitely 100% no longer playable in a safe, secure manner. <laughs> Activision has struck down X Labs and the Black Ops 3 client project. That is it and most likely Plutonium is unfortunately next. Activision's really insisting on being out here, leaving their old, insecure, unsafe games at full price, the same pricing that they had when they first released. Yet the safe versions of those which modders have made available are being struck down left, right and centre. We love to see it, don't we? You're still required to buy these games on Steam to access the modded safe clients. So at the end of the day, Activision's not losing out on any money. But at the same time, are Activision that insecure about the fact that people want to play their older games and experience their older IPs as opposed to their newer ones? There'd, there'd be a great fix for that and that would involve making better games. Instead of constantly pushing your agenda of skill-based matchmaking hell, of EOMM, engagement optimized matchmaking, which essentially rigs your games. Every win or a loss has been decided before you even get into the game, before you even get into the lobby. But this isn't what this video is about. Activision's an extremely corrupt company. We've all known this for ages. We all, we've all heard about the allegations. And instead of doing the smart thing of reaching out to these developers and these modded clients and somehow finding a way of connecting it to Activision and then making money off of it, making money off of a safe approach, they just strike it all down and leave their games up on Steam for people to still purchase and potentially lose personal information over playing a video game in the current year. It's possible to use the security vulnerabilities in the older Call of Duties to send a virus or a Trojan through the game onto someone else's PC which can then access personal information, steal passwords, Hell, if you have a lot of vulnerable vital information on your computer, you could end up losing access to that. Potentially people can end up losing a lot of money because of this. This is to be taken seriously. Look up remote code execution or rat exploits if you want to learn more about it. This has been going on for many years in old Call of Duty games. It's why you don't see me playing the old games on Steam anymore. It's just not safe. The fact that these video games are still up and available to buy and play on Steam is a joke. And yes, I'm being serious. Via peer-to-peer -peer connection, some of the games are that vulnerable that you don't even have to be in the same lobby as them. They can still do it anyway. Just by booting up the game, they'll have access to whatever you have. Even Black Ops 4 has similar security vulnerabilities like this. So it's not exactly just an old Call of Duty problem. It's a problem across the board and people will only find more and more exploits the longer the games are out. The modders behind X Labs and Plutonium work tirelessly to make sure these security exploits stay patched and out of the game. Activision won't do the same. Activision won't even go as far as acknowledging the fact that the security vulnerabilities exist. They will happily allow their customers to step into the danger zone just to make a few dollars. Pathetic, disgusting, corporate greed at its finest. If you remember back in, I believe it was 2017, 2018 time, the original Modern Warfare 3's matchmaking across all platforms suddenly died. Myself and many other creators spent an entire year campaigning on Twitter and other social platforms with the fixed Modern Warfare 3 hashtag, communicating with Activision support, and every single time they'd come forward with the lie that Modern Warfare 3 matchmaking was either working fine, the connection issue was on our end, or that the matchmaking fix was being worked on. They, they just simply don't care about their older games, and when someone comes along willing to actually work on it, their own ego gets in the way and they just strike it down. There's so many better ways they could go about this. There's ways they could profit off of this. There's ways they could capitalize on this. Hell, they could even start remastering or remaking the games. I mean, look at Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. Didn't even have a multiplayer. One of the most influential and popular multiplayer experiences in the FPS genre of its time. And you can't even go back and experience it in a remastered format. You can't even go back and experience it in the original format either anymore because the security vulnerabilities are there. They've taken down all of the access to play that game again. I tell you what, 
If plutonium gets shut down, which I'm pretty sure it will, that's me done making Call of Duty content. That's me out. You know, if I have to get a job for the time being until my other means are ready to go, then so be it. I'll do it. I don't want to make content on this franchise anymore. This company is too corrupt. <laughs> the modern games aren't fun to play for me anymore. The content I will be making moving forward will be what I want to make. And if that is entertaining for you guys, then amazing. If it isn't, then it is what it is. That's all I got to say other than once again, Activision, please go fuck yourself.